No matter who we are or where we're from, the coronavirus has disrupted all of our lives. Hiya. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi. Hello. 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 I think we are making a video. Join us as we track the experiences of people across the UK during this challenging time. Starting? We're starting. Whether we are self-isolating or social distancing, we feel an increased need to connect and share our feelings. My mood generally about the coronavirus kind of crisis in the UK is... It's all a little bit mad. It's all a little bit... Well, we're living in unprecedented times. I feel quite apprehensive. A bit disconnected. There's an air of angst. There's an air of uncertainty. There's some people that are completely oblivious. All of that unknown uh, feels really tricky to deal with and to manage, actually. I can see the frustration that they're going through because of this coronavirus. So I am very worried as a mum. What can I do to protect them? It's very hard to know what's actually happening on the outside world, given that we haven't uh, been able to leave the house for seven days. It's been a bit of a strange week. I was feeling quite anxious and apprehensive about the future with my results and stuff, but I think now I've kind of understood it a bit better and I'm feeling okay about it on the whole. We are the good side. We tell human stories to understand behaviours and social problems, to explore what unites us and what makes us unique. Really interesting watching how the different cultures around the world deal with this. Panic buying's a bit of a pain and, well, the whole thing's a bit of a pain, of course. Yeah. Still, it's early days, we'll see what happens. It's just so multi-layered. It's, I mean, it's bad enough if you, if you possibly potentially going to lose your job, or it's bad enough that potentially you could be ill. But it's bad enough that then there might be problems with getting food out there. But it's everything all in one go, and it's very, it really weighs mm. heavy on your mind. I don't want to use the word scary because it's. I don't think it is scary if everyone just adheres to what we need to do but the world as we know it is going to be really, really different. I think we'll get there. In fact, I know we'll get there. We are an extremely resilient race of beings. There are some good things. There's light in the dark. There's humanity and humour amid the chaos. Some people by like 9am, it's like meditated for 10 minutes, done an hour of yoga, done some breathing exercises. And if that works for you, that's great. But equally, if that makes you feel pressured or if that doesn't work for you, that's okay too. 42, next week, it's Friday. Uh, promises to be a vintage birthday <laughs> during the pandemic. Now, all of a sudden, John is viewed as, well, somebody called John the chief medical officer of the village. <laughs> And John has taken on a role which has, has been ve felt very useful by people. We already had to get our son to bail us out with toilet rolls because they have become invisible around here. You can take out bars, you can take out nightclubs, but you will not take out fishmonger stall. Each episode of The Corona Diaries will tell us more about the many ways this epidemic is shaping our lives. Despite our social distance, this is a shared experience like no other. So watch this space for more. Cheers!